good morning uh, now this is uh, class 8 of our chapter uh, digital electronics now now we are today we are going to start a new session that is in the last classes and all we have studied about um, boolean algebra then uh, the various types of mathematical uh, functions their proof then uh, some theorems like uh, de morgan's uh, theorem 1 and 2 like that now we are now starting a new session that is logic gates so as you all know uh, there are uh, three types of gates that is not gate and gate and or gate okay so before that we must uh, understand what is uh, logic circuit uh, and all okay so as an introduction let's uh, read through it most of the present day electronic devices uh, especially computers are based on digital electronic technology you know these are systems are mainly uh, they are mainly designed to operate with binary numbers now the term binary means two so we know any binary system will use only two digits which are they zero and one now and a definition for logic gate a logic gate is an electronic circuit which makes logic decisions and it has one output and one or more input so remember only one uh, output but it can have one or more inputs uh, logic gates are the basic building blocks uh, which are used to build um, uh, build up most of the digital systems the outsic uh, the output signal of a logic gate appears only for certain combination of input signals okay that is uh, if you are uh, giving a particular combination of input there will be a desired output for that that is if you are giving various types of combinations like uh, it's let a and b be the inputs it can be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 like that so these are the various combinations of input so depending upon each of these combinations you can have a decide or a particular output now uh, a list containing all possible all input possibilities and the corresponding output for each input is called as a truth table okay now the inputs and outputs of these gates can have only two states that is either low or high okay now the function uh, logic gates are basically mainly based on boolean algebra in which variables can have only one or two variables that is zero and one that one all we know now the three fundamental gates are not and or okay or and and not these are the three fundamental gates now a suitable combination of these gates that is not and or produces some other very useful gates such as XOR, NAND and NOR and these uh, the last two that is NAND and NOR are referred to as universal gates. Okay so which are the fundamental gates NOT and not and and or why because why they are called fundamental gates because using these gates we can construct many useful gates such as xor nand and nor so among this nand and nor are called universal gates why using these uh, gates that is using nand and nor we can make any of the gates that is you can construct an or gate and gate not gate and also that is why they are called universal gates okay so fundamental gates not and and or and what are the universal gates nand and or okay now positive and negative logics you know uh, the two possible states of a circuit are represented by zero and one one of these states may represent high voltage and the other one the low voltage if the more positive voltage is the one level and the other voltage is at the level at the a level the system is set to use positive logic okay what is post when a system is uh, said to be using positive logic now on the other hand the more positive voltage if it is assigned a level and the other one is assigned one level the system is said to employ negative logic so definitions for positive logic and negative logic for example in positive logic one actually refers to 5 volt and 0 refers to 0 volt or one may refer to 0 volt and 0 to minus 5 volt the reverse is true for negative logic now so in this boolean algebra or in any uh, logic circuit this one and zero okay one actually represents this on state and zero represents off state or in some cases the one can represent closed uh, uh, system and zero represents open system and in some other cases one actually stands for true and zero stands for false depending upon the circumstances okay now let's start with the gates uh, the basic uh, gates that is a fundamental gates not and or 
okay let's begin with or gate or gate is a logic gate that has two or more inputs but only one output okay it is called or gate because the output is high if any or all inputs are high that, that is if any of the input is high output is high or if all inputs are high then also the output will be high so due to this it is also called by the name any or all gate now the operation this is a figure given below a and b are the input voltages and y is the output okay it is marked in the figure the negative terminal of battery is grounded and it corresponds to low level that is zero state whereas the positive terminal of the battery that is plus 5 volt is connected is um, is uh, actually it is positive terminal so it is uh, having high value that is positive 5 volt and so it will correspond to as i already said it is at high level that is state 1 okay so ground is at state 0 and uh, plus 5 volt the positive terminal is at uh, state 1 okay now let us see the various combinations input possibilities what happens when the inputs a and b both are 0 both are zero means both of them are at the ground state so definitely the output y will be zero so that is the first point now what about the second point uh, a is grounded okay a is grounded so a is at zero state what about b now we are connecting b to the positive terminal so a is grounded let us see the figure uh, here you can see an A here right now suppose that this A is grounded hmm? and B is connected to positive terminal of battery A is grounded and B is connected to positive terminal of battery so here you can see two diodes D1 and D2 so since B is at, so uh, A is grounded means it is at zero state and B is uh, connected to positive terminal so it is at state 1 so what will be the diode D2 D2 will be forward biased right because this is at the positive terminal so d2 is forward by so it will conduct whereas d1 does not conduct so uh, see d1 not conducting so d2 conduct so output will be plus 5 volt so when a is 0 and b is 1 y that is the output will be high one now just the reverse a is set connected to positive terminal of battery and b is grounded b is grounded now here which then with in, in this case which diode will conduct d1 will conduct so its output will be plus y will state high so definitely output also will be high whereas d2 is not conducting so when a is um, uh, uh, the other combination when a is uh, high and that is one and b is zero what about the output y it is will be one now let us see what happens when both a and b are connected to positive terminal of battery then in that case both the diodes d1 and d2 will be conducting so its output will be plus 5 volts so definitely the main output that is y will also be high that is one okay so these are the various combinations now we are representing each of these combinations that is a0 b0 0 0 0 1 one zero one one in a particular list which we call it as the truth table as i already said that is it actually gives the output for various possibilities of input so zero 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 you see or gate is actually representing addition operation so this is a representation of an or gate a is the input b is the input uh, and y is the output so or gate actually represents the operation addition so we can represent this y output as a plus b okay so let's see the truth table what will be the truth table you are representing various combinations of for a and b that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 since it is addition you can write this y as 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 okay so this is important you have to study the definition what is or gate the uh, operation based on the circuit diagram the various combinations possible the schematic diagram and the truth table that is uh, all for or gate similarly you have to write all this for uh, and gate also see this is what i have already said representing addition operation and how you got this truth table so you can go through this it's actually op or operation plus sign okay now and gate and gate has two or more inputs and a single output similar to that of an OR gate the output uh, will be high that is it will be in the state one if and only if all inputs are one that is the output of AND gate will be high if if and only if all the inputs are high okay remember that now the symbol it has got uh, 
dot operation or a cross usually we use uh, the dot operation so you remember this is the schematic symbol of an uh, and gate two inputs a and b and y is the output so a dot b is equal to y in the or gate it was a plus b equal to y right now we are representing the two table 0 plus uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and since it is a uh, multiplication what will be the output 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 1 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 or another case we can remember that is we has i already tell uh, the output of and gate will be high if and only if all the inputs are high so which is that possible combination all the inputs are high so output is only high okay can write in that sense also and um, here also we are representing it with the help of a circuit diagram the operation of and gate here the lamp you can see a lamp here and this lamp uh, will glow only if both the switches are closed that is only if both the switches are high if it one uh, one of the switches is open that is if any one of the switches open that is if any of the switches is in the zero state the lamp will not glow that is a condition now a positive logic can get using diode is shown in here when either a or b or both are low zero volt at least one of the diodes d1 and d2 is forward biased and the output becomes zero volt now when both the inputs are high none of the diode is forward biased and the output y is high 5 volt so you can explain uh, the operation of OR gate using this circuit diagram and this explanation and also using this circuit diagram and the explanation now the final uh, topic is the NOT gate NOT gate has one input and one output see it has got only the schematic symbol it has got only one input and one output Y okay so the output of not gate will also will always be the complement of the input that is if a is the input then output will be a bar if b is the input output will be b bar if c is the input output will be c bar like that complement of input will be the output of not gate that is it inverts the input from zero state to one state and vice versa if you are giving one as the input output of not gate will be one bar that is zero now if the input of not gate is zero then its output will be zero bar that is one like that okay that is why it is also called as inverter uh, that is complement it is this representation uh, y is the complement of a and so see a input so output one a is zero y one a the input is one output will be zero like that now you are explaining it uh, with the help of uh, with the help of a transistor if the output if the input is low see here this a is the input okay now uh, y is the output now if this input that is if it is 0 volt okay what is what will happen to, to this transistor the transistor is driven to cut off that is transistor will go to a state called the cut off and in cut off the output will be very high that is it will be 1 as equal to plus or uh, 5 volt so it will be output is uh, high so state 1 now if the input uh, instead of 0 if the input is 1 uh, then the transistor will enter into a state called saturation in saturation state the output of the transistor will be 0 okay so when input is low transistor enters to the state cut off and output will be high when the input is high transistor enters into a state called saturation and the output y will be low so that's all for now uh, so uh, study the definitions for each of these gates then uh, the various possibilities of inputs and output with the help of truth table circuit diagram its explanation the expression the schematic symbol and all okay so uh, today that's all about the fundamental gates not and and or okay so this is enough for today thank you